probably heard of Zoom by now, and you may be one of the 200 million people using it worldwide. Zoom is a video communications platform, whether it's on your phone, your tablet, we want to make video accessible to everybody. Esther Yoon of Zoom has a guide so you can get the most from your Zoom experience. We'll start by choosing an account either the basic free version or pro. If you wanted to just call your mom or your sister or just connect with friends, um, I recommend our Zoom basic license. It's free. Esther says the free account still lets you have group meetings, but you have a time limit of 40 minutes. If you need to have connect with a bunch of people, um, we have a pro license that starts at $14.99, but I found that the Zoom basic license is more than sufficient for most people. And it's easy to use. The app walks you through how to start a meeting. We're dressing those meetings up at number two with virtual backgrounds because who knew we'd all need home offices. I'm in my guest bedroom. It has hideous green walls and it's absolutely messy. It was like my storage room. This was really the only place I could work quietly and um, having virtual background just gives me the peace of mind that, you know, you're not looking at what's behind me. You're focusing on what I have to say. Just go to your settings, click virtual backgrounds and choose from what Zoom offers or you can download a variety of free backgrounds from Shutterstock. I've even seen like Parks and Recreation, Top Gun backgrounds, Star Trek. So if you just search the internet for them, there's just a myriad of them out there right now. Digital makeup is next because young or old, man or woman, we can all use a little help sometimes. You can go to your settings and if you click video, there's a button that says touch up my appearance. So you could see it's very, very subtle. It's off and it's on. It's like when you have that little under eye baggage that you're like, ooh, I don't feel that confident. You know, this just polishes you up a little bit, gives you that extra like rah rah so you can turn on your video for those 7 a.m. meetings. We'll tie a bow on our Zoom prep with security. No one wants uninvited guests. There are settings that you can, uh, you know, make sure are on for your meetings, such as waiting room or having a password. This ensures that only the people you invite can get on the meeting. You can protect yourself and, and minimize any potential disruption. For more info, Esther says to visit blog.zoom.us for tips on everything from security to appearance. We're staying in touch, miles apart, and zooming in to a new world of get-togethers.